Hey everybody, it's Mr. Lincoln. I am here to teach you how to do your citations and things like that with a Google Docs type of document. Now, you uh, are probably, hopefully using Word, and the last video that I did showed you how to do everything that we did in lesson 22 of Word in the book. Um, how to do all of that stuff um, in the Word document. But if you do not have Word, you are kind of not able to do that then, are you? Uh, and you're going to have to like make do with the uh, methods and the methodologies of the Google Docs platform. So um, we did some stuff yesterday. Let me go ahead and turn on my presentation now. We did some stuff yesterday with a Google Doc. And you saw yesterday that we did things like hard page breaks where we got in front of something and then we inserted uh, page breaks with the break, page break. And that made sure that everything underneath here was not going to happen. It's all going to go to the next page, okay? That was page break, that's a hard page break. And we also did things like this right here, this uh, footnote. And we were able to make a footnote um, at a certain point in the document. And then the extra information, we typed it down here in the footnote. Um, also, kind of in the area of... Where is it? It is. Come on now. Wait, get back up here. Aha. Yes, all of these things. Okay. Um, we were able to insert a footnote by pointing to some area of the document and then clicking on this. Where did it go? I just had it. Footnote right here. And then there's a footnote typing in the information. Okay. And we attempted unsuccessfully to turn footnotes into endnotes because that is not a thing that you can do in Google Docs currently. Um, it's all footnotes. Um, there are um, apps that you can download. Um, there are uh, little apps that you can get for the Google Chrome. Um, uh, what like You can get them and you can make it turn into, if you want to research it online, you can do so. Um, I don't really see much utility in that, though. Most of the time, you're not going to be doing endnotes as opposed to footnotes. You're just probably going to choose one or the other. And if footnotes is your only choice, then you can just do it. But if you really needed to have endnotes, you can just go ahead and um, go online and search for uh, turning footnotes into endnotes in Google Docs. And there are people who will point you in the right direction to the uh, apps that have been developed to make that happen. But as it stands right now, that is not a thing that Google Docs does. You are stuck with only having footnotes, unfortunate for you. Now, let's continue, and we shall talk about, in the book, it says that we need to now insert citations. And citations, as I described in the other document, citations are basically where you prove that the knowledge that you have comes from a certain source. And if you don't tell people about this certain source that you learned this information from, then you're a dirty, dirty cheating plagiarizer, plagiarizing your way to the top, and that's terrible and awful. But if you merely put in a little note that says where you got this information, ah, then you're a well-learned scholar deserving of our respect. So it's a weird thing in the academic world, but citations are necessary. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go to... Well, okay, so there is no references tab necessarily on here. Um, there is something where basically you are going to start putting in some uh, references, citations, and stuff like that, and it is a tool, okay? You're going to go to the tool um, tab, and you're going to go to citations, and it's going to open up a side area here, okay? And it's going to say, hey, what kind of citations are we doing? Uh, it only gives you three choices. Um, Microsoft's got like 10 choices, but this one has three. MLA, which is high school citation style. APA, which is college citation style. And Chicago, which I forget what it's used for. Probably medical stuff, who knows? Um, I haven't really researched it because uh, all of my life I've mostly seen MLA and APA. So we're gonna stick with an MLA style document, okay? And the citation, we need to like say where it is that the citation is gonna go. So. First off, we're going to look for the third sentence in the second paragraph after the heading lion. So here is the second paragraph. Here is the first sentence. Here is the second sentence. And here is the third sentence. Okay, so on the third sentence of the second paragraph under the heading of lions, 
Go after the word nearby. Whoa, too much. Go after the word nearby, click after that word, and prepare to insert a citation. Now, first you must add a citation source. There is no placeholders. Um, there are no placeholders currently, so you can't do one of those until you put in some information about the citation. Okay, so click on this source. We are going to say it is a book, and we are going to ask uh, access it in print. Okay, that means basically you're looking at a printed book as opposed to a website or an online database. Okay. The author, yes, the author is who we are trying to get. The first name of the author is George. Okay, press tab, B is his middle name, or his middle initial. And his last name is Scheller, okay? And we don't have any contributors, it's just that guy. So we're going down to the title of the book. Now notice everything that's got to start is probably necessary before you can like uh, add the source. So the title of the book is The Ser Serengeti uh, Lion, Poland, A Study. Now remember, this is a, this is a book. This is an important thing. Just like uh, names of people, just like uh, names of places. Everything in here except for like ofs, does, and a's usually gets capitalized. So A, uh, capital A, study, capital S, of, uh, no capitals, predator, at prey, capitalizing both P's, space, capital R, relations. Okay, that's the name of the book. The publisher is the University of Chicago Press. Okay, and the publishing year was 2009. The book, the city, of course, is Chicago. Hey, you don't have to put Illinois, you can just put that. Now, notice these other things are available, but they are not starred. That means that they are not necessary. Go ahead and say add the citation source. Okay. Now, wherever it is that you've got your thing, your clicker, your little um, insertion point blinky line, you can hit cite, and it pops in with this shallower one. Now, Normally, whenever you're doing this kind of citation, you do need to say what page it is, especially if you're doing MLA style. You need to say what page it is that you uh, found this information. So it had a little had a little sharp, uh, had a little pound sign where it says you should put in the page number. Um, let's say it was on page uh, 25. Okay. So shallow 25, that is our citation uh, for this information. Okay. Now, every time you want to use this guy's information, all you have to do is go to the end of the sentence, click right there, hit this little cite button here, and pop, another one pops up just like that. Okay. Now, um, zebra. Okay. Now, the Microsoft Office document basically says. Um, if you click somewhere and you don't know the person's name or citation stuff or whatever, uh, you can just go ahead and do something called a placeholder. And you can come back later and you can enter that information at your leisure. Uh, unfortunately, in this uh, Google document, you are not able to do such things. There is no placeholder. You must add the citation source information, have the site source available, and then cite the source. Okay. Uh, you can also edit the source if you've got it wrong. You can send feedback about the source, or you can just delete the source. Okay? So that uh, placeholder thing doesn't exist in Google Docs. You can't do it. So we're moving on to the next thing. A reference page. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, unlike our Word document, which unfortunately had endnotes in, in the way, um, our um, current document does not. So go to the end of the document by pressing uh, end, uh, well, control N. Uh, probably works, and or you could go to the end of the paragraph, press enter, and there you are at the end of the document. Now remember, these uh, bibliographies do not do not go on the same page as the rest of the report, so you must insert a page break. Go down to the next line, and you can use this button right here to insert a bibliography. So go ahead and click on insert bibliography. Bada boom, bada bing. It does get it much more correct, actually, than the Word document does. It is black. Uh, it is in the correct format. It is double spaced. 
And if it was only if only it was in uh, my if only it was in Times New Roman, it would be perfect. Uh, Times New Roman and twelve point, but it's twelve point already. But it's just Calibri font. So if you you know if you'd like, just went ahead and took that and changed it to Times New Roman like it should be. Yay! It would be perfect. Okay, and that's your reference page. Okay, um, it just says bibliography. If you don't like the word bibliography, if you want to, if you want to use the uh, other type of terminologies, uh, aka works cited or um, something like that, you can just change the word bibliography. It's not gonna, it's not gonna, you know, like freak out on you in any way or anything. Okay, and um, that is basically how you do it. You want to look at it in um, the reading mode, the viewing mode, you can go to view, you can go to mode, you can go to viewing, and you can see it as a page page, okay, instead of a printing page. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> it's just it doesn't have all the tools in the way. Um, so editing mode, now you've got your tools back, yay. Okay, so that is essentially the exact same stuff that I talked about in the Word documents, and that's how you get things done in Google Docs. Thank you very much for participating. If you are, you know, watching this um, so that you can learn more about how to do these things in Google Docs, and I will post this up very shortly, and we'll see you later.